Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Canadian poet Kim Trainer from her collection Karotype, published by Brick Books in 2015. Uh, this poem is midway through the collection and entitled Poem from a Burnt Notebook, beginning with an epigraph from Anna Akhmatova, uh, from her poem, Sweet Briar in Blossom, these lines. The taste of smoke and poems written by my hand. Poem from a burnt notebook. One. Call them ashtray poems, these poems scribbled on paper, quickly memorized beneath bright, empty chatter, then the rasp and flare of a match. Now comes the charred taste of words, the crisp, blackened skin, gleam of white scapula. Only the voice survives, this beautiful and mournful ritual. 2. She burned her archive three times, scraps of paper torn from school copy books, poems on the verso of Mandelstrom's drafts, thin sheets his words bled through, her voice caught, snagged on black Cyrillic, her voice alight at the rasp of a match, blue smoke and rendered ash. Three. This morning snow, thin as paper on frozen ground, I carry her poems in my hand, scatter them. Words hop like sparrows, a softness, a handful of little bones. They alight on the bright red drops of Japanese barbary, its weeping thorns. Um, and that was Home from a Burnt Notebook from Karatype by Kim Trainer, Brick Books 2015. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet Kim Trainer, as well as where to purchase this book, uh, and more information about other projects I'm currently working on. Uh, please uh, consider subscribing to this channel, liking these videos, or just commenting below if you'd like to support us in some small way. All these things help uh, keep these videos more visible, allow others to discover them. That's basically the YouTube algorithm. The more of you that interact, the more visible these poems become. I'm grateful for all of you who stick around and watch these videos to the end. Grateful for those of you who do comment and share these videos on social media. And I'm thankful for all of you, wherever you are, for the creative work that you are doing. Um, even if all you're doing is watching these videos and reading, thinking and making notes, all this, I believe, is firmly within the path of creative writing. Um, it's what we do um, in the silence that also matters. And so I'm grateful for the opportunity to share these poems, grateful for uh, this month in which I've been able to celebrate Canadian poetry and to think about um, my own relationship to it. Uh, as, as a Canadian who's returned after many years abroad, well, in the States, um, it is, it's a re-education for me to step into this world and to try to acquaint myself with as many Canadian poets as I can. Um, I'll continue this effort through the coming months, uh, but we'll probably mix in more American poets and other poets as I go along, um, returning kind of back to a mixture similar to how we've done in the past, but with a little bit more Canadian content. Um, and I continue to build my collection of Canadian poets, um, something that has been lacking, I think, in, in past years uh, for me. But now that I've moved back, it's easier to build that collection. So I'm grateful for the opportunity to continue to do this work. So I think that's about it, uh, about it for us this time. I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. And until next time, I wish you all the very best on your own creative journey and the things that you're writing and thinking about. Uh, wish you much success as you put those to paper. And uh, Hopefully, one day, I'll get a chance to read them as well. So until next time, stay safe and well, and keep reading, keep writing, keep being engaged in the world, and building those bridges to others, uh, one word, one poem, one, one page at a time. And uh, we'll meet you again on the other side. Uh, we'll be back again every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And so we'll see you soon. And until then, take care and keep reading. Thanks.